Good evening to you. Violence breaks out during a basketball tournament at Alexanon Park. Tonight, police are still looking for suspects after a shooting injured five people. It happened last night at Douglas Park off Georgetown Road. At the time, the park was very crowded with people for the basketball tournament. As Monique Blair tells us, people living nearby are fed up with the violence. She's live with our top story at 6. Monique. Well, Sam and Amber, you can see the crime scene tape is down now here at Douglas Park. But about 21 hours ago, five people were shot out here at a park that I'm told was very packed at the time. And right now, no arrests have been made. Well, I realized it was just another senseless shooting. I spoke with one of the five victims from last night's shooting. He didn't want to go on camera because whoever shot him hasn't been caught. But he says he believes the shooting was random. Lexington police are still trying to figure out a motive. Police say after the shooting, they were hearing conflicting witness statements, so it's hard to determine exactly what happened and who is responsible. Four men and one woman was shot. We are told one of the men is still in critical condition. For someone like Michael Haskins, who has grown up at Douglas Park, last night's shooting makes him worry the park will now have a negative reputation. You talk about Douglas Park. A lot of people grew up here, have fond memories of Douglas Park, and we don't want a few people to change it. Lexington police are asking for anyone who was in the park last night to come forward with information. But something has to be done about it, you know, because it seems like every time we turn around, we're having another shooting. Now, the basketball league was supposed to start back up again tonight at 6 o'clock, but I'm being told that it is now being moved to the Dunbar Community Center because of the shootings. Reporting live in Lexington, Monique Blair, WKYT. Okay, very important development there. Police say that they're still trying to figure out if the shooter was targeting someone or if that person was just firing randomly into the crowd.